So if they're asking us to prove that root 2 is irrational, let me tell you there are only two types of questions. When they're asking us individually, root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7, numbers which are prime. That's one level of question which we are going to do right now. I'm going to do root 2, the rest you will do. Second type of question is the combination 3 plus root 2 or 2 root 3, 5 minus root 7, something like this, or 3 plus 2 root 5. Is this thing clear? Yes, sir. That we will do in some other time. Okay. And in this also, I will be explaining what needs to be done uh, later on. So these are the two types of questions. So today, whatever we are going to do is very important. This comes for minimum three marks. Okay. And it comes directly. Directly. Many a times it comes. So prove that root two is irrational. So step number one is we have to take a or contrary view. So we know that irrational numbers are irrational numbers are not equals to p by q. We know that they are not equals to p by q. But we will take it a is ka ulta. Okay. So let root two be rational. This is a contrarian view that I am taking it. A reverse of the question asked. So therefore, root 2 is equals to, let's say, A upon B. Okay. Oh, Where A and B are co-prime. A and B are co-prime. So I'll give you time to copy. First of all, just look at the screen. What are co-prime? Any idea? What are co-prime? So co-prime numbers are where HCF is 1. That means there is no other common factor. It cannot be reduced. Cannot be reduced. Understood? That's yes, the okay. basic understanding. That is, that's why we always say co-prime. Now, step number one, what I'm going to do is squaring both sides. To remove root. So root two square equals to a square upon b square. So it will be two equals two. to a square upon b square. B square. I will do the cross multiplication over here. So b square equals to a square upon 2. Now over here, our theorem comes. So remember, I just uh, explained it to you this theorem. This theorem, 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 theorem. The one point three. Yes. Yeah. Theorem number one point three. If a square is divisible by p, then a is also divisible by p. You can read on read about this thing later on. So, what was the theorem number? Do you remember one point three? 1.3. Oh. So, according to theorem 1.3, you can write down the full theorem also. We can say that, therefore, A is divisible by two. So, if I am saying A is divisible by two, a is a number which is divisible by 2. 
that means i can say that a is a multiple of 2 2c this thing is very important did you understand this part if you don't understand this stuff this part uh, we can't move ahead sir, if i'm no saying one. if i'm saying a is divisible by 2 that means a value should be in the multiple of 2 na making sense yes sir if some number is divisible by another number like a is divisible by 3 that means a should be in the multiple of 3 that means 3x let's say in some table i don't know the number for example the number is uh, 9 so it is what divisible it can be written as 3 into 3. Making sense? Yes. Now, we will substitute this value in the previous equation. Wait a second. Sir, one more thing. Yeah. Sir, uh, from where did the C come? C is just like X. If you're not comfortable with C, you can take X also. Okay, sir. I have a habit of writing C because we were also taught the C. Oh. If you want, you can write X. Should I write X? There you go. So, 2X. Let's see. Now, I'll consider this as the first equation. Second equation. Substituting two and one. Okay. So what will happen? P square equals to two x whole square upon two. Clear. So B square equals to four x square upon 2. This get cancelled. So b square equals to 2x square. Again, I'm going to shift this 2 to the other side. Okay. So b square upon 2 equals to x square. Again, by same theorem number 1 point. Okay. 1 1.3 according to Theorem 1.3 as b square is divisible by 2. Therefore, b is also divisible by 2. So, which means that B is also in the multiple of 2? Yes. Yes. So what did we get? A is a multiple of 2. B is also a multiple of 2. Can you see this? A is a multiple of 2. B is also oh. multiple of 2. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes. Therefore, A and B have two as a common factor. Make sense? Yeah. A and B have two as a common factor. Yes or no? Yes, sir. But what did what was our first assumption? Our first and primary assumption was A and B are co-prime. Both are co-prime. That means HCF should be 1. But my HCF is coming out to be 2. Okay. A and, A and B have 2 as common factor. Therefore, A and B 
are not co prime which contradicts our assumption is that thing clear yes hence root 2 is is rational so that is the proof for this thing okay so make notes can you see rest other questions can be done very very similarly root 3 root 5 root 7 you just need to replace root 2 by those numbers so quickly yeah. copy this thing oh. and do any one number let's do root 3 if you have any doubt you ask me right now <laughs> 